Everybody, absolutely everybody. Because I had been looked, so, so one of the things about, um, and, and people will say of me now, I have, a, I have a good vision. If you read the history books, and if you look at what's happened, you can, you can, you learn from that. Now, in my case, it wasn't history books. This was real life experience, the pain with the S2 of the EB machine not working properly, the downturns with Motorola. It's one of the things I say is progress through pain. So if I look at all the stuff I've learned, and I apply, look at where the future is going to be, and I say, from all this stuff I've learned, how can I make that future better? It's blindingly obvious what you need to do. Most people never even think about it. Not even like, they just carry on doing me too, same old way, same old way. And so I, I, don't, think, I don't think that way. And to be honest, it doesn't mean I, I didn't really feel I'm absolutely right that, that what I actually meant is this is the only way to make this work. So if it's the only way to make this work, it's the only path I can go down. So if they're telling me all this stuff, I can't do anything about it, so ignore it. You see what I mean? The reality is, Intel was created in the year 1968. In 1968, what Intel did was absolutely spot on. ARM was created on November the 28th, 1990. That was the right thing to do. People now see to people, ARM did this, don't do that. The issue is when you start the business, you have to do what's right at the point in time when you start it, and you have to have your eyes wide open, and you don't have to, as I say, this rear view mirror thing. All of business studies, all of finances, um, you know, the joke, there are, there are jokes, this is one I can tell you, you know, what's the definition of the finance director? He's the person who is confidently backing into the future. But the engineer is actually looking forwards and saying, where are we going? So, so uh, when you look backwards, you can come up with all these questions, but if you look forwards, think about how the world is changing and all the rest of it. But of course there's risk, everything's a risk. Intel, to every startup is a risk, you know? Uh, uh, so, uh, it's... Uh, 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 and and you look at you, you also look at mistakes. So look at the, so by the way, when I was coming up with the business model for ARM, there were companies I looked at and studied quite deeply to see what I could learn from them in order to help the evolution of the ARM business model. There were three companies. They were Microsoft because they created a global standard with DOS and everything. They were Nintendo because Nintendo making the Game Boy and so on. They had a very low cost operation, they subcontracted all the manufacturing, they were very good on the engineering and they shipped it everywhere and the, th and the third company was Dolby which was a, a, another British licensing company. So in order to, so here's where I want to go, here's the vision, who can I learn from? Look at Dolby, look at Microsoft, look at Nintendo. Intel's business model is years out of date, forget it, you know, look to the future and, and that's, that's what you do and I, I think there is a danger with people who are advising other startups today, they'll say, well, look what ARM did. And, and I would say, well, by all means, look at the good bits that ARM did that fit for you, but look at the world you're in today, not, not what was back then.